So I've started off camera to do some of the twiddly bits. I've used our burnt sienna and alizarin mix to fill in the eye, leaving the little white highlight. So if in doubt, just work your way towards that little highlight. And if you're a bit uncertain, leave it bigger than you need it and then make it smaller as you go. I've used burnt umber and ultramarine to put the black tip onto the ears. And I've begun to use a greyed version of that colour, so more water with it, to come down and begin to put some texture into this shadowed section of coat. Where it's overall shaded, I've, I've just washed in a block of that colour. And I'm now going to go in, so um, I'm probably leaning down uh, closer with apologies. Uh, I'm going to take the ultramarine and burnt umber mix to a black again. Now when you need a dark colour like that, don't go back to your water in between. Every time you go back to your water, you lighten your colour. So we just need, I just need to go in close to be able to get the little black spot on his eye. leaving that out highlight and that brings the uh, hair alive and we can then use combination of this grey tone and our uh, burnt umber which I'm just trying to get onto this brush to begin to bring in some detail so looking I can begin to bring in some extra hair detail near the eye Darkening up here, darkening down the nose, so he's a little bit darker on his nose, a little bit darker. Where, where we'd established our palest tone, if he's darker, I use a little bit of the ultramarine and burnt umber mix. Again, I just need to tweak with this because this is the twiddliest bit, and we're trying to get him to stand out. I can very gently put some sort of outline tone there and maybe just put some detail on the front of his ear and some lines coming onto the hair. Again, don't make them too even. And he begins to stand out. I think um, I want to just flatten his nose a little, so I'm just taking a little bit of my dark tone here. I think I need to wait for some of this to dry to be able to tweak it. And there's some little lines of hair in here, so very softly, just bringing in some little lines of texture. Don't go very mad with this, you can always add more, but you can't get it out, especially with a pale tone like this. He's turned away from us, so you're getting like a front edge that's hairy. Probably need this mix to be slightly heavier on the blue than the brown. This mix is very slightly on the brown. Oh, that's a bit too dark. This mix is very slightly on the brown side. I have made the front of his chest a little bit fatter than I should have done. And we've got some little hairy bits coming in here. Again, don't go raving mad with this work because he will become overstated and over hairy and also you begin to lose the white so I can do more now and I can come through onto this grey area and begin to bring some lines in here and again I can darken up as I go you can see that a lot of this is done quite pale and the hair is coming through with his summer coat so he's white for winter and he's going uh, brown for the summer and I will continue down I'll do this off camera because I need to get in front of the camera to be able to do it but you can see how the details beginning to kick in around the head and that will be your next bit you'll see the progress on the next video thank you